what's up everyone and this time i want to quickly talk about in-app purchases on your iphone and how you can turn them on how it basically works well if you go to the app store you can see it right away inside or like next to some kind of app that you download so if you open up any kind of uh, app on the app store for example it's going to be this one right here and if you scroll all the way to the bottom you can see as some things like the size category and stuff but you also have the in-app purchases and if you like click on it it gives you the option or shows you all of the possible options within the app but this is just for the information in order to like change uh, the settings for it well by default you don't really do anything it only applies when you have the screen time enabled so when you do this when you have uh, this enabled what i want you to do to change it is to go to the settings of your iphone and find the screen time section so you're going to tap on this and then go ahead and tap on content and privacy restrictions so go ahead and click on this and if you have this enabled if this is turned on for you then you'll have the option to scroll through and tap on any of these things right here and what i'm trying to say is that if your in-app purchases don't work it's probably because you have the content and privacy restrictions turned on and in-app purchases are not allowed so in this section if you tap on itunes and app store purchases and click on in-app purchases this is what we want i have it allowed but chances are that you don't have it allowed and in this case just switch it just click on the other option to make sure that it works in the future this applies to every single app on your iphone and also to every single app that you will download in the future from the app store so it's like this universal setting which you can apply to basically anything yeah, it's kind of unusual that you don't have it inside the App Store settings or it's not like um, a changeable inside the App Store application, but you have to do it through screen time. But the only point behind it is that sometimes you may, may want to like block uh, some activities on your iPhone. So that's maybe the, the, the case or the reason why uh, the in-app purchases didn't work on your iPhone. But this video would be basically at the end. If you enjoyed it and found it valuable, if the tips were useful for you, I want you to hit the thumbs up because that's how I know that you liked it. And for more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you in the future. Peace out, guys.